Data has emerged as a powerful raw material that impacts all industries, governmental entities, and individuals. The recent boom in data research has provided new opportunities as well as imposed new challenges to data-driven optimization. Each institution that gathers information, it has its own objective and goals. So if we remove the objective and goals, we actually have data that we can use to do classification, prediction, clustering in a different level without this institution or government or agency looking deeper into feeding their objective or what they gather these data for. So it's very important for us to look at neutral source of data because we will know what's available for us and if it is good or bad. Too many of our decisions that are made by our government leaders and others are based on belief systems still. They're not based on complete data sets that have that veracity and that reliability and that up-to-date quality to it. Almost all of the serious challenges that we face in healthcare, education, infrastructure, housing, and world events can be addressed with better solutions. And we have that promise and potential now to make that transformation. It will take time to do it and it's going to be difficult, but there's that opportunity to do just that. There are a couple of things that make it harder for women and people of color to get access to information or getting the best deals. They don't have the broad network of people that men necessarily do. Only 2% of women get venture funding, and if you're a woman of color, that's 0.5%. And the inverse is the people who want to invest in women and people of color don't have access to them. There is a massive amount of work still to be done. The great thing about supporting women is we are every race, religion, sexual orientation, nationality. We're 50% of the population, and to have an infinite amount of resources would be groundbreaking. The democratization of information would be a great way to do that. Data is an incredibly powerful resource, and we are just beginning to understand its full potential. Although data ownership is an increasingly challenging issue in our data-rich world, the future holds the prospect for the individual to regain control. Data is very important because it creates accountability. It predicts crime, improves our health, give us an insight and better decision, it cut costs. This is all positive, and that should be one of the main reasons why we should be passionate about sharing data and actually working to use this data to improve our life. The insights and predictions that can be generated with high levels of confidence only come from a combination of cross-market sector data complementing market-specific data. If you integrate data sets, and that's the problem, there's a lack of integration across market sectors. There is a general consensus that companies want to share information because they know there's a benefit from doing that. They'll receive more information in return. So the incentives are all there. The mechanism just hasn't been there up to now to do this securely where data rights and regulations are automatically enforced for all of the stakeholders in the exchange of information. Jump to it quickly and seamlessly connects the dots of data across disconnected data fields, making sense of the patterns it discovers and predicting likely scenarios and information you need. Jump to it serves as a non-aligned, neutral conduit of information while remaining ethically focused on protecting the veracity and transparency of data. Everyone does not have equal access, unfortunately to the information that they need and the resources that they need. A technology like jump to it is a way to transcend both physical and network barriers that people have. So that's what this technology can do, is can kind of break through those inherent boundaries that we grow up with. The solution is it has to not just serve governments or businesses, but ultimately has to serve individuals as well. jump to it can help people to be more productive, healthier and happier in their lives. We want to empower people. That's what it's all about. In 2013, I had the idea to create jump to it which was to connect all of those cloud services that people had uploaded their files to and give them that single search experience. And then as AI began to evolve, we started to give them more power in terms of being able to search more quickly and use machine learning and other types of technologies 
to facilitate that search without the need to tag or to write descriptions for files or whatever it might be. And eventually that became an autonomous search process, which is what we have developed, which is dynamic awareness of your activities and the events around you, and to be able to autonomously go out and find the information that will help you achieve your goals and objectives. So in order to accomplish that, you need a really broad set of data. So you need depth and breadth, which is volume of data and variety of data. We've connected primary data sources in every major market sector. We're able to take that information and package it and deliver it in a digestible way to the end user. When we scan, it's up to the second around the world finding that information that's relevant to you, that you initiating a search. The purpose of jump to it is to facilitate the secure exchange of information and to provide highly nuanced information to individuals that's dependable, reliable, and up to date. Visit jumptoit.co to access tomorrow's intelligence today.